In this video, we're going to take a leisurely walk through my garden. Um, I'll show you my garlic patch, pick a head of garlic. I will uh, show you the dill, which you just saw there. And my sunflowers are growing beautifully. My um, potato patch that is uh, growing beautifully. And I will uh, pick some cucumbers that I will then take inside to show you how to make luscious lacto-fermented dill pickles. Stay tuned. Hi, it's Tommy here, um, and today I have lots of these from the garden, cucumbers, kind of misshapen, and I have this from my garden, and I am going to combine those and make lacto-fermented dill pickles which are incredible and probiotic good for you and good tasting um, so uh, one of the first things you want to do is to make sure that um, you don't have any of the ends of the the cucumber still on there uh, I'm not quite sure, but this is a probiotic process. So you wanna make sure the flowers are washed off. And so um, you wanna scrub them really well, which is what I have done with uh, these that are here. And um, you wanna make sure your jar is sterilized. Um, so uh, um, I also, I, I will put, uh, uh, a list of ingredients in the um, thing uh, below but um, the other thing I have is um, I have grape leaves and these helped um, with the tannins to help to make your um, pickles super crunchy this is so simple actually once you gather up the ingredients to do um, that uh, that's why I wanted to show you um, so I am going to just rinse these real quickly um, just to make sure. And uh, I'm gonna put a couple of these leaves. I'm gonna put this down so you can see what I'm doing there. So, um, I'm gonna put a couple of these leaves 
in the bottom of the um, jar and then I will top them with one. And then I am uh, going to put some of the garlic um, I just have kind of smashed it and then I just want to remove the, the garlic peel and I will smash it again. I'm going to use about four garlic cloves for this jar. And then I'm also using spices. So the spices that I'm going to be using are um, uh, some peppercorns, some, um, obviously there's garlic here, there's dill. I'm going to be using um, mustard seed, uh, coriander seed. Um, uh, fennel seed and some cloves and some allspice and those are all um, whole spices that I'm using um, and these um, pickles will Basically, um, there there's no vinegar in these picket pickles. Um, it's they ferment in a salt brine, and um, they are super tasty. They take um, about a week to brine. Um, you can get uh, brined pickles, you know. Um, Lacto fermented pickles at uh, Trader Joe's, at Whole Foods, uh, Bubby's pickles, uh, but they're very expensive. And here, I'm making these from ingredients grown in my garden. So, so here is all the smashed um, garlic. Put in one more for good luck. And um, and each of those spices that I mentioned, um, I put in about a half a teaspoon and I'm making a quart size jar of pickles. And um, and then also some bay leaves here as well too. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put these spices in here. And, um, and I also put some red pepper flakes. And then I'm going to start putting um, the cucumbers in the jar. So, um, Now the trick is you want to try to squeeze them in there as best you can, you know, so that they're a tight fit. Um, so, and then I also have. Um, these uh, weights that I'm gonna put on the top as well too. Oh, I forgot to put in the, um, the dill. So since I already started putting in, I will shove my dill in here. Putting in, um, you know, this part of the dill weed as well as the um, 
the uh, crowns here. What do they call that? Um, I actually have, have used several different recipes um, that I found on uh, the internet uh, for making this um, because I, I tend to like a spicy pickle and some of the recipes that had the best instructions didn't have very much spice in them. And um, so I um, want to make sure I get plenty of dill in there. So, who knows, maybe I'll get to another jar. Um, so now I'm pushing in some more pickles and some more cucumbers and um, Yeah, I still have. So you don't want to go all the way up to the top. You want to leave some room to put the weight in because, um, anyway. So then you take, this is brine. So this was about one tablespoon of sea salt per, um, uh, Per liter of water. Um, I used some warm hot water in the beginning. Um, maybe I'm going to use a ladle. Um, I used warm water in the beginning, hot water, so that the salt would dissolve. And then we're just going to cover these uh, cucumbers with the brine. And you want it have at least the top and this is where the weight is going to come in because and you're always going to end up making more whoops we're spilling um and then the the trick is you want the your lid not to be tight Um, because the fermentation process requires some air. So um, the other thing is you want to be sure and um, and uh, put it in something because it will start um, bubbling and it could seep over and so you want it to be in a, a cooler, dry spot, not a cold. Um, so these are great summertime thing to make. And so I will put them in something so that if it bubbles over, and I'm actually just going to put them in the cupboard behind me. Um, I will put it in um, some sort of container so that if it bubbles over, um, I won't be hurting anything. So... Um, We'll, I'll do a video later to check back and show um, how the pickles came out. Thanks. Hi, it's Tommy here. So I'm concluding this uh, video of showing me picking uh, cucumbers and uh, putting together lacto-fermented um, brined uh, pickles, dill pickles, which are amazing and um, so here 
is my uh, three jars so far. I'm going to be jarring at least two more jars today. And um, I wanted to just follow up a little bit and tell you, um, usually five to seven days you leave it in a cool, dry place for them to do their lacto-fermentation process. And you wanna see that it starts to get a little cloudy. You, you can kind of see that here, how it gets a little cloudy. You see it bubbling when it's warm. These have been uh, uh, chilled. And it takes five to seven days for you to see that happening. Every day you should go in and just open the jar a little bit so that you uh, release any pressure that is building up from the fermentation process. Um, you want to sterilize the jars by either pouring boiling water into them or putting them through your dishwasher. And, um, you know, I fill mine with hot water and then just leave them in the sink. Um, <clears throat> here's an empty one and there's another one in the sink um, filled with the hot water. I'll pour the hot water from that one into this one um, to sterilize it. And... Um, I, I mentioned grape leaves are good to help to make them crunchy and that's what I have because I have uh, access to wild grape leaves here. You can also use oak leaves and there are some other leaves as well too. Um, you might want to add some, uh, these are uh, hot peppers that were grown in the garden years ago. Um, like that, you, you can add uh, peppers if you like your um, dill pickles a little spicy. Um, juniper berries are another thing that is great to add. You can also add horseradish, um, ginger. Uh, it's really your choice. Um, and you want to be sure and leave like an inch head space at the top, not fill it all the way to the top with the cucumbers because you need to make sure they're covered in the brine. And that's the other thing you want to um, make sure as they're doing their process th for those five to seven days that they're still covered and that's why I take and I put my um, my brine water in a in a glass jar and I keep it in the refrigerator so that um, if it's overflowed some I can add it in and even as I uh, keep eating the pickles you don't if they aren't submerged they'll spoil and they definitely won't stay crisp so um, and these will keep for, I'd say, at least uh, a few weeks, if not a couple of months, if they're all enclosed and, and whatever. But if you love dill pickles like I love dill pickles, um, they won't last that long for you. So um, I'm going to um, just dig one out here. Here, let me put this down a little bit. Um... So I leave all the, you know, the, the dill weed and all the um, leaves and everything in there. So I, I found just a tiny little one. I'm going to, um, it's almost lunchtime for me, so I'm going to weigh that. It's 0.7 ounces, and I am going to enjoy this delicious crisp. Mmm, so good. Really tasty. So I hope you um, try these wonderful lacto-fermented dill pickles and um, like, subscribe, uh, click on the video, comment, and um, I look forward to seeing you in the future. Bye.